Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to square the club face earlier so you can get better contact and compression. Hey guys, Eric here at the Bethlehem Golf Club. I want to talk to you today about how to get your club face square earlier so you can improve your contact and compression. Now, before we dive in, I want to let you guys know about CogornoGolf.com. That's where we can work together over the winter to improve your swing and your game for next year. Now, as a member of CogornoGolf.com, most importantly, you get access to our Facebook group. That's where you can post your swing videos. I will give you feedback on what your main priorities are, how to work on them, and help guide you to them uh, through that improvement process over the winter months. You also get access as a member to all of our master classes, everything on the site, including the member library, the practice section, the quick fix section, and everything else we have. Would love to work together over the winter. We'll include a link in the description down below for CogornoGolf.com. Now, in this video, what I want to talk to you about and show you is a drill um, that you can use um, in terms of getting the club face square or earlier in your swing to help you um, get better contact and compression. Now, the baseline theory here is pretty simple. Over the past decade or so of teaching golf and studying golf swings, there's a very clear correlation amongst golfers who hit the ball consistently more solid and those who don't. And if you watch some of our previous videos, you got a good idea of where I'm going with this. The most important thing is the club face. There's no doubt it's one-to-one. -one. In golfers we study who have the club face more square to the arc they're on, I'll give you some checkpoints for that in a minute, and more square when they're coming down, square to closed, can press the ball better and hit it better. No debating that. Golfers who have the club face more open in space hit the ball not as compressed, their contact's more inconsistent, they lose distance, they score higher scores, nothing really good comes from it. So we want to have the club face more square or closed, from my perspective, throughout the swing. But really what this drill I'm going to show you does is make sure at the end of the day, the face must be square here at the bottom. So I've got a stick on the ground. This is a drill I saw from Kelvin Mia here at miles back um, that I saw recently again and wanted to share it with you guys as a really good checkpoint. Now, before we dive into the drill, I do want to give you some checkpoints earlier on in your swing in terms of the club face. Even though it's only relevant what the face does through the impact area, what you do at setup, on the way back, or on the way down can make your life a whole heck of a lot easier or a whole heck of a lot um, harder. So let's go through the drill, but first let me give you a couple checkpoints. Okay, so checkpoint number one we like to use uh, is when the club head gets parallel to the ground during the backswing. And I'm gonna go through these pretty simply. If you want more details on these, you can watch um, previous videos or check out cogornogolf.com. But basically what we're looking for is at first parallel, which is when the club's parallel to the ground for the first time, what's square or close would be in our book is a face that's tilted down some. If you've got a face that's toe up, if I brought that back on my swing arc circle, that face is wildly to the right. I don't want to have a face toe up. I want to be tilted down. How much? Probably at least 15, 20 degrees. I'd rather you be closer to 45 degrees than toe up. So you want to have the face a little more tilted down here when you go back. Uh, for me, when I do that, what I feel is my right palm always. My right palm's more down towards the ground. My right wrist is more bent back. That would be my uh, face here uh, during the takeaway. Now, when I work up to the top, more or less what you want to feel to get your face more square to the arc is have the face point more towards the camera than in this direction. So what that means from here is if I want to square my face, we have a twist away in some of our other videos, that face feels like it points towards the camera. Here would be an open club face. See how that points away from me this way? Let's all together say bad face. That would be a good face pointed away from me, right palm away, face away. That would be a really good checkpoint there. And then the last checkpoint, as I'm working my downswing from here, I want to feel like that face stays tilted down. Again, check Victor Hovland, Burst Kepka, Dustin John, et cetera. The face is down towards the ground. And what this stick here is designed to do is, and I have it about a foot behind the, the ball here, so about a 13, about 12 inch from me, about a foot behind the ball. In reality, on average, the golfer's face will be some amount open here, right? If we actually tracked it, I think Kelvin said on his Phantom, it was like five degrees open on average relative to the target line. What you want to feel though, if you're someone who struggles with an open club face or haven't really felt compression, then you want to feel like you get your face square by the time it's a foot behind the ball. 
That doesn't mean square like this. See, my hands are forward and it's square. How is that done? That's through supination, that's through good wrist conditions here. So my face is square, meaning parallel to the club lines, a foot behind the ball already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one or two with this. Again, I don't care as much where it is going back if you can get it square to here. If you can't, you're allowed to get the face more square going back. So I, let's say I'm you, I'm not compressing the ball well, I'm having contact issues, et cetera. I wanna check mark this box first. If you don't hit the ball really solid, you should be like so far away from being afraid of a square or closed club face. A closed club face would be great for most everyone watching. So here I am at address. I'm gonna feel my face tilted down. Okay, this is just a bonus. Face more towards the camera, face down. And really I'm gonna feel what that feels like. Now if you do this pose and you come in and your club face looks like this. So it's like wildly to the right. You're gonna have, what are you gonna do from here, right? You're, you're probably not gonna fix this late all of a sudden. You're gonna flip from here, right? So what do you need to do from there? If you're someone who comes in and you're too far open, you gotta probably flex this left wrist and add a little bit of curl, supination, or twist away. Either do it on the way back or do it on the way down. So let's go ahead and hit a couple, and then we'll work through. I think I gave myself a little over a foot there. I'm cheating. But I wanna feel what that feels like once or twice again. Kinda halfway back. I'm gonna feel, okay, that feels square already. That feels good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit one and feel that same piece. And feel like I'm squaring the face early and I feel really solid and compressed. Now, when I say squaring the face, okay, in reality, there's two parts to that. There's where your face is right and left, which would be open or closed. And there's also where your dynamic loft is, right? So what I'm really trying to do for you guys is get the face square and also turn the dynamic loft down, lower the loft of the club. When you put those two together, that's really solid contact. So again, let's go ahead and do that one more time. I've got this club, just any club, about a foot behind me. I wanna make some swings and feel like the face is uh, square, right? Parallel to that by the time I'm a foot behind the ball. So let's go ahead and set that up and do that. I'll feel one or two and then I'll hit. I'll feel one or two and then I'll hit. Again, I'm not gonna guess with this. I'm gonna support this with some video feedback. Good. And that one I overdid a little bit. It was a little bit of a pull draw. But again, if I'm looking for compression here, you normally miss to the right, that would be okay. The first thing you need to do when you do this, if your face is too open, is learn how to twist the shaft, okay? If you haven't seen our twist away videos, you wanna check those out. The twist away videos, for me to close the club face more, I need to twist the shaft, either on the way back or on the way down. The more I twist the shaft under on the way back, which would close the face, the less I have to twist it on the way down. If I make a backswing and I don't twist it at all and I have the face open, then I need to twist that on the way down. Lead wrist flexion and supination. You either gotta do it on the way back or on the way down. So try twisting the face away again. Uh, palm more down, face more down towards the ground, face more towards the camera of the club, right palm towards the camera, more towards the camera in transition, right wrist stays bent back, and then I'm feeling like it's square earlier. Now again, we're gonna do these kind of short irons, feeling that once or twice, feel what that feels like, and then go ahead and hit some. And when I do that, I like to get the face feeling more square on the way back. I can feel a noticeable difference in the compression because the dynamic loft comes down. So quick drill for you guys to do as a checkpoint, as a reminder, if you're struggling with contact, hitting the balls too far to the right as a right-handed golfer, feel like the face gets square by the time it's a foot behind the golf ball. If it's too open, check your grip, but then do the twist away, either twist away on the way back or on the way down. So it'll help your compression. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell. Also, please subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching.